last letter in my hand. I will call you with the details. Yeah, all right. Bye. I love you. And now I've got to tell her that I've got another rejection. Nobody wants to produce my play. They say it's uh, too depressing, too unrealistic. You know what's depressing? It's depressing that there are kids getting beaten and bloodied in the back of schoolyards, that girls are being raped by people that they know. It's depressing that people are being harmed emotionally and physically by the people they thought they loved the most. This play is about real people dealing with real problems. They don't like this show, they want me to change it, fine, but... I just wanted to write a play that doesn't gloss over the parts of abuse that nobody talks about. Like, scene three. I'm leaving, that's final. You're not leaving, end of story. No, Helen! You're not giving me a choice here. You will always have a choice. Joe, you're going to ruin everything that we've built here. Everything that I've done for you. Please don't leave us, please. I would never be able to take it all on my own. I need you to be here with me. Anna needs you. You wouldn't leave two girls you love, would you? God, what kind of cold-hearted monster would do that? What am I going to tell Anna? That her daddy just got up one night and left because he doesn't love her anymore? Because he doesn't love her mom anymore? I, Helen, I, don't, don't cry. It's okay, I'm, I'm right here. Please, just don't cry. It just don't work without you, Joe. I know. What am I going to tell Anna? Tell her that I'm Never leaving. Never? I knew you must have been joking. I knew you would never leave us. I knew you needed me. You love me too much. You should pick up all this junk. It's late. I'm writing this play to give people like him and others like him a voice. <laughs> 